I'm your host, Dan Rojas, and I have a regular sheet of aluminum right here. I got this a little over a year ago, and it's been sitting out in the front yard. It's really oxidized a lot. You can see it turns your fingers black when you rub it. When I got this, my goal was to try to buff this up into a shiny metal surface. Now, I took a regular buffer, like this one right here, and didn't really have a lot of luck with it. I worked on it for a while, not much came out of it. The other night, uh, I was able to get this. You can see that that's a really good reflective surface and there's a little bit of uh, pitting right here that I didn't work all the way to get out. I just wanted to get this to see if it would make a good mirrored reflection. Now this is probably about an 85, maybe even a 90% reflective surface. It's actually really, really good and I was really impressed on how I got this. Now in order to do this, what you're gonna need to do is use a bench buffer to get this. This is a buffer that I got from Harbor Freight. You can actually get these at Lowe's, Home Depot, Sears even carries them in there. They work really well. They, they have a really high RPM and what you do is you use buffing compounds. With these buffing wheel compounds, this is from Sears. This was about $4 for these. They come in four different colors. They, they have a white, which is for stainless steel. Uh, you have uh, the red, which is used for gold, sterling, silver. There's a black one which is used for heavy cutting, which works really good on steel, which is what I'm going to be showing you in a few minutes. You also have a blue one, which is for the aluminum, and that is how we were able to get this from that in about 30 minutes. Now the reason that I mentioned the black emery cake is for these DirecTV satellite dishes. These can actually be buffed to about a 90% mirrored surface. What I did was I took a grinder. This is actually a grinder that belonged to my dad and it was uh, handed down to me. I used that to get the paint off. Now there's probably better ways of getting this baked on paint off than a grinder like that because what it did, it actually gouged into the metal surface there and this created a lot more work. I still have a lot to do on it, but I was impatient last night. I was actually pretty excited about it from the results that I was getting. So you probably wouldn't want to go as aggressively with a grinder like that as I did. There's uh, chemical strippers out there that may be able to do this job. If anybody has any suggestions or has success stripping this uh, paint off of there, then feel free to post a comment and share it with everybody else. That way they can avoid scraping, scratching the surface. Because this stuff is very difficult to get off. Now, if you don't want to go through the expense of getting a bench buffer and dealing with all the compounds, by the way, if you do that, you definitely want to be outside when you do it. Wear a respirator mask, wear some gloves, because that stuff's not good to really have around. You're getting metal, par metal particles and paint particles and compound all over. So if you can do it outside, good idea, wear the respirator mask. This project's probably going to take you, if you're new to the buffing process, about three hours. If you're really good at it, you could probably strip one of these down and get it uh, ready in maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Now, if you don't want to spend the money on all of that, like I said before, the other option is the mirrored tape. This is the one that I did in a video a few months back. I showed you how to do that with the Part B material that we actually have on our website. And this has been sitting out in the rain, weathered. It's been like this with water in it. I cleaned it up. This stuff actually holds up really well. This is another option. It's not quite as pretty as if you were to get this to be perfect, but it does work really well and it does provide you with about a 90% mirror. One advancement that I found with this is the gloss black paint. You sand this down because this has a no stick surface. Sand it down as smooth as you can. You don't have to go down to the metal if you use the tape. You're going to spray a gloss black on there and you want it to be as shiny gloss as you possibly can. And that gives this Part B material a really good backing. The Part A material works well too. This has a little bit more of a reflective material. They're both really good for outdoors. The other option, if you want a more powerful reflective surface, these are the acrylic mirrors that we use. These have about a 95-96% reflective material. I'm going to be uh, finishing this dish up and doing a video on it and seeing what results we get out of it. If you have one of these laying around and you happen to have a bench buffer and you've got the uh, buffing compounds, see what you can do with this. If you get something really nice, go ahead and do a video response to our section. We'll be happy to put it along the bottom down there. If you come across any chemical stripping agents that gets this stuff off, you share that with the viewers. Also, anyone with experience working with aluminum, I did pretty good considering this is my first really go at it, but judging from the way that some trucks look and the great jobs that's done on those, I'm sure that it can be done a lot better. So. Again, if you have information on that too, 
feel free to pass that information along. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.